नमस्ते दिस पाम द पत्रिका हैज तुला लग्न एंड तुला राशि यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव रिटन इट डाउन इन साउथ इंडियन लैंग्वेज दिस इज अ मलयालम स्क्रिप्ट सो इट इज तुला लग्न एज वेल एज तुला राशि फॉर फॉर दिस जातक बट लुक एट द पाम लेट्स लेट्स सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द पाम वैन आई से पाम आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू ड्रॉ दिज एंड्स हिय एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ दिस पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ दिस okay and then we will join these end points this looks like a elongated or rather one say one can say it's a rectangle it's a very big rectangle now if you look at uh, when i join the diagonals it's one of them though i'm not drawn it very accurately you can see that these diagonals meet at a point where the angles are quite large you can see and almost you can see they are equally distributed in many palms angles when you look at these midpoint where the diagonals intersect you don't get these angles okay one of the clues here is that even though the moon has oh, sorry even though the lagna has uh, air element the lagna has air element because it is tula rashi so ideally you know the air hand should be seen air palm is squarish in shape and very long fingers but in this case it's exactly opposite here one can see more of water content okay jala tatva is seen now it means that the lagna the whatever is the lagna now lagna is tula here but the chandra is in tula therefore what is happening here is that the chandra in tula is actually dominating the scene here so when i say that the lagna is tula we expect that the palm should be square and one expects that the fingers will be long there will be bony or protruded knuckles those are the you know generally what what we see when you have an air uh, lagna that means vayu tatva lagna but exactly opposite is seen here here the tula lagna is simply overshadowed by chandra who is also in tula rashi or tula lagna that means the chandra is in tula now he is actually dominating the scene here that means the the, the structure of the personality has become more jala tatva than the actual air you know what it should be i hope you understand what i'm trying to communicate so what we generally do when we look at a palm and a chart is when you look at the tatva that is when you locate the lagna you see the tatva is it uh, agni tatva vayu tatva bhumi tatva or jala tatva then what we do is we draw this palm shape we try to measure the width the length the diagonal length i am sure most of the palms will not be exactly rectangular you can see that at this point it is sometimes inside and this is outside exterior so you have to you may not get a very regular rectangle which you are used to seeing uh, in daily life you will get a slightly you know distorted rectangle however when you draw it neatly and when you draw both the diagonals the intersection point of the diagonals is very important there are some secrets in this which of course not in this video as we learn more and more we will understand this the angles here are very important okay um the divisions here see look at the way the triangles are divided here so all these things are very important you know so um, here the the tatva is actually vayu as per chart but the palm is showing jala tatva characteristics exactly opposite or different from what we expect it to be okay the second thing when we see is when you measure the palm you have to look at this part okay and you have to look at this part draw a straight line okay and when you have to measure the fingers you have to take from here to here so let us say this is x and this is y we always take a look at the ratio of x over y this ratio is also very important okay those who 
no astropalmistry would agree with me what this ratio would be you know leading to the next part uh, is uh, what astropalmist look for is this this thing whether it's a v in this case it is not a v it has a it has a u shape rather than a v shape and the distance here is not much that is the other thing which we see and then astropalmist also look at this whether it is a curve or it is a straight line okay so these are the things now in this case this guy's guru rekha is almost crossing the barrier in fact it is coming way inside the barrier crossing the barrier and coming very close to the guru finger or the tarjani okay now given the fact that this is a rectangular shaped palm with a lot of water element and the guru rekha is almost reaching the finger jupiter finger this person is completely ruled by emotions there is no doubt about it i mean you don't need to look at the you don't need to look at anything else you can just say that this person's um, mental makeup is weak now those who know uh, parashri would also agree with me that when moon is in lagna the person is difficult as far as emotional quotient is there it's difficult to manage such people and rightly so even though the lagna itself is uh, tula and it is vayu tatva it is simply not showing uh, tula characteristics okay so this was just a brief uh, video on how we match the lagna in the chart with the palm and see if they are matching or not now in some other charts and palms i will show you the fire in fact in in some palms and charts where the lagna is let's say agni tatva or let's say simha lagna okay but the palm exactly has uh, uh, exactly matches you know the palm structure exactly matches what is the lagna such people are generally you know extraordinary people because why their chart and their palm character you know the 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 structure matches it is a very good thing to have especially when it uh, comes to fire palms and fire lagna if the palms match that's a very good thing right so i'm i'm just giving you some uh, things which we generally see and these are not in any of the books this is from practical astropalmistry point of view how we do the analysis so this is uh, one way of looking and comparing thank you